Little Red Riding Hood. No, this one's like all cut up. Um, once upon a time, there lived a little girl who, um, who had a beautiful red cloth cloak with a hood. The little girl wore. This is really hard on my eyes, baby. Can you do it closer no, okay. to the writing so I can read it better? Thank you. Um, the little girl wore wore it every day, and that's why she was called Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, it's really hard for I know, but it's really hard for mommy to read in the dark. It's too dark in here. It's it's straining on my eyeballs. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, "Your grandmother is not feeling very well." I want you to take the honey cakes to her. Now remember, do not stop and speak with anyone, and do not leave the path. I will remember, said Little Red Riding Hood. Now you may look at the pictures. The pictures. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood set out for Grandmother's house. Soon a wolf came along and spoke to her. Where are you going off so early, the wolf asked. Little Red Riding Hood forgot what her mother had told her and answered, I'm taking these honey cakes to my grandmother. She is not feeling well. I'm sorry to hear that, said the wolf. But the wolf was recently really not sorry at all. Oh, that just got bright. That, that was insane. Yeah, it is. Oh, I just wish it would just stay right. Like, are you touching it or something? No, no. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, that side. Where does your grandmother live? Asked the wolf. Grandmother lives in the cottage past the windmill. Said Little Red Riding Hood. I see, said the wolf. Why don't you pick a bouquet for your grandmother? He suggested pointing to some wildflowers. N not supposed to leave the path, answered Little Red Riding Hood. But I sh I'm sure Grandmother would like pretty flowers, so Little Red Riding Hood left the path to pick some. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's right. The wolf hurried along to Grandmother's cottage. Who's there? asked Grandmother, hearing a noise by the gate. It's Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf in the tiny voice. Lift the latch and come in, Grandmother oh. said. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? He and he can... Yum, 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 yum. The wolf went in and ate up Grandmother. One, two, three. Then he put on Grandmother's nightgown and nightcap and climbed into her bed. Oh, no. Oh, Are no. Just sweated? Oh, no. He ate in her, too. When Little Red Riding Hood reached Grandmother's cottage, she was surprised to see the gate open. And when she walked in, she knew something was not right. Grandmother, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to hear you with, my dear. What big eyes you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to see you with, my dear. What big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. The better to eat you with, my dear. And eat. Yum. Then the wolf jumped out of bed, or and eight little red riding hood one two three her bed bad day all at once the wolf grew sleepy and climbed back into bed for a nap he was snoring loudly the hunter passed the cottage and heard him the hunter went inside saw the wolf i got you at last you wicked wolf said the hunter and he killed the wolf one two three Good. Me. The hunter saw the wolf looked very fat, so he carefully cut the wolf open. Snip, snip, out pop, Little Red Riding Hood. Snip, snip, out pop, Grandmother. They hugged each other tightly. After dragging the wolf outside, the hunter sat down with the grandmother and Little Red Riding Hood. All three of them feasted on the honey cake. Soon, Grandmother was feeling better. You won't ever have to worry about the wicked wolf ever again, she said. It's too dead. Oh, God. Oh, God.